Hello guys and welcome to Motor Beam. So I've had a history with scooters and specifically electric scooters because that's what I started off with. I am here in Bangalore at the Aether space to ride the Aether 450. Was I impressed? Well, to find that out, please hit the subscribe button first. Make sure you hit that bell icon. I'll tell you what the scooter is all about. start off with the styling, there's one word I would describe the scooter, it's neat. The way it has been designed from the front to the rear, it's very clean. The whole body design is very sleek. There are very few panels that have been designed very flawlessly. And yes, it looks pretty nice on the road. So. Everything over here is LEDs. Headlight, the indicators, the tail light. I especially like how the front goes at the small beak, the rims, the 12 inch rims, and there's a green rim strip that's there. The logo on the back with a green strap again. So the cleanliness, the neatness of how the design is, it's beautiful. As this is an all electric scooter, it's not just a normal scooter. It has a seven inch intelligent dashboard right over here. And it is an intelligent dashboard. So it is made for the Indian conditions. On the home screen, you have an option to switch between two modes, a normal mode and an eco mode. You have navigation on assist, you have over the air updates and you have locations map on board for the Aether grid. Now this is the map of Bengaluru having the Aether grid, the charging socket as we see here. And it's available free for all the Aether riders and also for the other electric vehicles. <laughs> As I talk about the ergonomics, this scooter rides very well too because it gets a mono suspension and a swing arm. Yes, so the hanging parts don't carry much weight. The motor is frame mounted. It has this plus telescopic suspension at the front. So the ride quality is very plush. They have set up the suspension a little stiff so that the agility and the cornering stability is right where you want it. If you notice something, the whole chassis is made up of aluminium. That's it. You can see a few steel parts over here, but because of the whole design based on aluminium, the weight of the scooter is only 118 kgs. So this battery down there weighs about 19 kgs and the motor over here is about 6.5 kgs. This is a completely DC brushless motor and it is a part of the chassis, not the hanging parts. So the battery pack gives you a range of 60 km on normal mode and about 75 km on eco mode. In the normal mode or in the regular mode basically as we say, this motor produces 5.4 kW of power. That is equivalent to about 7.2 bhp. That's not too great, but we are talking electric. All you care about here is the torque. This motor produces 20.5 Nm of torque as soon as you say go. As you go on the throttle, these numbers are pushed right to the rear wheel from the belt drive over here. So this scooter accelerates really fast, but does it stop that quickly? Yes, it does. Thanks to the combi braking system and the discs at the front as well as the rear. Yes, it gets a 190mm rotor at the rear and a 200mm rotor at the front. And the braking feedback is fabulous. There's a thing that bugs me a little that the rear brakes lock up a little quickly, but the feedback from both is pretty much confidence inspiring. The way you fuel up this 450 is via this, the grid. Take the notch, put it in, and the charging starts. Nothing's easy, nothing ever is, but some love is haunted from the... So working around with this charger is very easy. 
just plug this one off and put it back in but there's no weight around this because an onboard charger is directly mounted onto the chassis making it very easy So I rode the ATA 450 in the streets of Bangalore and I am completely impressed with it. This electric scooter gave a smile on my face. That's one thing that bugs me a little. Right now, the scooter and the grids are only limited to Bangalore. There is a plan of expansion but it will take some time to reach other cities. There's one thing for sure that this scooter is here to change the future. The fastest of all the 110cc scooter out there and very efficient, very very efficient with the soaring fuel prices right now one solution i can think of is this to get this scooter you have to book it online or visit an aether space also aether promises an end-to-end -end customer support and the only thing that i'm keen about is its pricing thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that like button and also let me know in the comments below what do you think about this scooter